Hello, welcome back to Bolt Action CP for another battle report. Bolt Action battle report tonight. We're doing the uh, a tank war. So this is going to be roughly 1,500 points. Not exact. It's a little. It's over, but it's going to be pretty close. Uh, point wise and order dice, it's the same. So we're going to do doing a mission out of the tank war book, and this is a mission called uh, Battle of Eris. This is actually for early war, but we're just going to use the rules for it with our late war uh, army lists. So this village here, the crossroads, will be the objective. And Andre will be the Germans, I'm going to be the Americans attacking. So I'm going to have to capture the crossroads. In order to do that, I'm going to need to get an armored vehicle, uh, strength uh, armor 8 plus, within 3 inches of the center of the board by the end of the game. Uh, Andre is going to be able to place two of his units within six inches of the center. Half the remaining will be first wave, the other half will be in reserve. And for me, I can place all of my units within 18 inches, or I have to be at least 18 inches away from an enemy unit or the center. And I can use hidden setup as well if I want. So that's pretty much it for the mission. Yep, that's it for mission. So now I'll go over the uh, forces. Here we have the American force. These are uh, nine order dice. So we have three veteran uh, 76 millimeter Shermans. And one of them will be Lafayette, Lafayette Poole, who is a special character out of the Tank War book. These special characters have a lot of special rules, and we both have one. So I'll go over uh, Poole's stats real quick. Um, his rules are lead from the front. He gets plus one to his leadership, or everyone within line of sight of him gets plus one to their leadership if he's the furthest away from my table edge. So if he's out in front, anyone that can draw a line of sight gets a plus one to their leadership. He also has rapid fire, which means he can fire twice if he's given a fire order, which is a sweet uh, rule to have. And that can be at the same unit or two different units. And they each have four skills, driver skill, uh, gunner skill, or commander skill. So his are strict discipline. He can lose all of his pins. Uh, quick reflexes, which gives him a recce move. Hair trigger, which uh, he can shoot after, given, after he's given a run order. And skill shot, which is plus three to any pen penetration roll. Uh, the skills are one-time use only, and the rules are uh, he can use those all the time. So there's the three Shermans. Uh, Poole will be the one with the E1 on the side of his turret there. Then we have a uh, regular 105 uh, Howitzer half-track. Got two six-man veteran squads with two BARs and a regular half-track. And a regular half-track with a 10-man regular squad in it. So that's it uh, for the Americans. Now we'll go see what the Germans brought. Here we have the German forces. And special character in this one is Ernst Barkman. He's a legendary panther commander. So that's in there in the panther, obviously. Uh, read his rules off. So his rules are decisive advance. He can fire after he's given a run order. And he also has exceptional leadership. So after if after he runs, any friendly unit within six inches that has already activated can put its order dice back into the dice bag so he could activate it again. So but that's only after a run order, so um you have to give a lot of run orders. <laughs> a lot of I guess you could just do a run order and just not move that fat far, huh? You don't, I mean, it's because uh, you... just have to go more than nine. Yeah. Okay, so, anyway, there's Barkman. Oh, and his skills. He's got Motivational Leader, which lets him reuse one of his uh, one-time skills. Uh, Deadeye, so you can add three to uh, any of your hit rolls, which is nice. Uh, push Through, 
you can turn uh, if you have a if he has a down order on him, he can turn it to an advance order. And quick reflexes with same as pool with the rec, you know, gives him a recce move. So the rest of the force we have these are regular uh, tanks. We got a Panzer IV H, we got a Stug, and the Wasp is coming back out. I've been using this guy a lot lately. I took him to the tournament. And he won the tournament for me pretty much because he just was wiping out squads left and right. So he's back on the table. Um, over here we got uh, two six-man veteran grenadier squads with LMG, an assault rifle sergeant, and two Panzerfausts, and a regular half-track, and a truck with a machine gun, and a 10-man um, Kriegsmarine squad with machine gun two SMGs, two Panzerfausts. So that's it for the forces. So we'll go ahead and do our deployment now and then we'll talk about the deployment and then we'll get started. So we finished deployment. Andre was allowed to bring two units. He debated putting some tanks out and wound up just putting a, um, a truck full of Kriegsmarine within six inches of the center. And I'm allowed to bring all of my units, and I have to be 18 inches away from the center or an enemy unit. So by keeping them in the truck, it actually allowed me to get a little bit closer on this side. So this is my deployment. I have pool here. A truck with, a uh, half track with two veteran squads. Another veteran Sherman. I got my howitzer uh, half track facing down the road there and another Sherman next to him and then my regular squad in that half track so I'm allowed to use hidden deployment so that means if I'm in cover I get a big negative uh, or he gets a big negative modifier against his shooting on me if I don't move or shoot so that might help me out uh, on turn one um, he is going to bring in half of his remaining units in first wave and those half are going to be Barkman, the Panzer IV, and the self-propelled howitzer. And that's going to leave the Stug and half-track with two six-man veteran squads in reserve. So that's it for deployment. So now we'll go ahead and start pulling dice. And first die of the game goes to Americans. Hmm. Okay. Uh... I gotta think about this. I'm going to place this Sherman over here into ambush. Next die. Germans. The Kriegsmarine squad has advanced, or the truck with the Kriegsmarine squad has advanced this direction. Successfully evading the ambush. Oh, yeah. I should have sprung the ambush on the truck full inexperienced guys. <laughs> <laughs> you had your chance. Or I could wait for Barkman to come on, which I think might be a better idea. So, Americans. My regular squad has advanced out of the half track, and we're going to fire on to the truck. So, uh, just soft cover. And fours. So, not bad. And, but I need a six. A couple sixes would be nice here. I got a six. So, nothing. Wasn't that roll on the table? Oh yeah, that's, table? yes it is. So, uh, he's on fire. So you take two pins and a morale test. So we'll see if this uh, truck runs off. So needing a uh, seven. He's good. Okay. So the guys inside take a two pins. Two pins. Truck takes two pins, and yeah. They take two pins before they take two pins. Yep. And then they take two more. So next die. Germans and Andre is bringing in the still the sighting. Still the sighting. Um, 
Still the siding. Okay. And it is the Panzer IV running onto the table along my right flank. So next die. Uh, Actually, he changed his mind and brought the Wasp in. So um, I'm trying to decide. I do have a line of sight on him with my tank in ambush. But I'm not going to spring it because he ran, so he can't do anything right now anyway. So go ahead and pull the next one. Um, Hold on a second. All right, so uh, change of plans. <clears throat> change. So he has to say, so if he's ranging in, though, he has to say set. No, you can move and fire indirect. And I can keep ranging in? As long as you don't move again, yeah. Well, that's why I said, so if, he's, if I'm ranging in, I got to stay set. Yep. Okay, so there's been some uh, <laughs> him hauling around, but this is it. Some. We're not changing our mind anymore. This is I'm it. Firing on your okay. infantry. All right, firing with the wasp on the uh, these guys. So he gets and he gets a three. But so that was indirect fire, I'm yeah. assuming. Okay. Next die, Americans. Howitzer is going to go on ambush as well. Next die is the Germans. Germans. The Panzer IV has ran up to that spot, so it looks like I got two tanks over there. Okay, next one. Notice he's avoiding the road now. Probably because I got two vehicles in ambush. <laughs> Could have something to do with it. Okay, so Americans, dice. See what we'll do. I advanced my half track with my two vet squads up to this building. Next that will be Germans. And all you have left is Barkman. And my Well, I mean, for this turn, for first wave. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with Barkman? He is going to run. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> That's what you're doing with Barkman? Alright. Well, like, you want me to get him blasted? I want you to get him shooting at something. Uh, so do I, but uh, you got a lot more firepower on the board than I do at the moment. That's true. Okay, uh, so he's going to run on and drop his guy back in the bag. Okay, there we go. Using a, uh, so that's the only time you can use that one. So that's a skill. Really? Yeah, oh, so the skills a... you can use once. Oh, crap. Um, so if you use Motivational Leader right now, uh, you won't be able to use it anymore. So you're not um, going to use it, alright? So, you'll, uh... So he's changing his plan. So he has advanced or ran? So he ran up there. So what kind of special rules do you have here? I could shoot, but I could got fire to after shoot you that. run. Okay, yeah, you're no line of sight or anything. Um, okay, so that's it. Yeah. So the rest are all mine. Yeah. Okay, so I think the first thing I'll do is well. Oh, hold on. First thing I'm doing is advancing this tank up. I'm gonna take a shot at the uh, um, the truck. So soft cover. Uh, these are all vet Sherman. So. They don't suffer a movement penalty. So I need a four up. It's a hit, so anything but. That's a pen. Uh, yeah, I'm a heavy AT gun, which is a plus six, so an eight. So actually, that's not a double kill. Wow. It has to be three over. Goodness. It's only two over, so. So, uh, well. I only blow up once. No, you don't. Ooh. You're uh, immobilized. immobilized. So you take two more pins, though. I'll fire the machine gun at him, too. This would be long range, uh, move, soft covers of sixes. You got one, even a six. Nope. So all I got uh, from that is two pins. Um, I forgot to rally my dudes inside. Okay, go ahead. So you'll rally, and then whatever, uh, you'll still have two pins. So four, so you're good. 
So, so I lose. lost my two pins, so I'm down to two pins. Yep, so back to two pins. Alright, I don't see what... I'm trying to decide what I want to do with pool. I could run, because I have a thing where I can run and shoot. Um, I believe I can only do that once. So I could run up here and fire at Barkman. But if I miss, then I'll be here for Barkman. But if I get the first die, I could fire twice with him. So I could take two shots at Barkman. So yeah, it's a risk. Do I really want to lose pool in the first in the second turn, but I mean well, what what good pool is it? Pool or Barkman are gonna go down <laughs> if you do it. It's uh, one or yeah. the other's going away. Alright, let me think of what do I wanna do here? I think I'll first I'll get the troops out of this half track. I've run my one of my vet squads from the half track there and the other one there. And that half track has moved over to get a shot on that truck. So I'm gonna take my shots. Uh, is that that's probably more than eighteen? Or I just wanna see if it's long range from the uh, the truck with the half track. I don't know. Okay, so we're not long range, but moved and soft cover. So fives. And I got one. And it's a plus one pin, so I need a five up. No, so just another pin. So I'm piling up the pins on those inexperienced guys pretty good right now. And I will... I'm going to do it. Let's do it, man. Alrighty. So I can run uh, right to there. And I believe I have line of sight on Barkman now. So I have a heavy gun. He's at strength 10 on the front though. So, okay. So what I'm doing now is, uh, wait, do I not have that? I thought I had that. Oh yeah, hair trigger, shoot after running. Okay, so uh, let me figure out what I need to hit. Okay, so no cover, but he is just past 36, so he is at long range. So I'm a veteran, so I need a four up. Come on, pool. Build your legend. Ooh. And he did not build his legend. Okay, so it's very important who gets the first die on the next turn. <laughs> because if I get it, I can fire two shots in a row at Barkman, but if he gets it, he can take me out, pretty much, because he can add plus three to one of his rolls, to hit rolls, so that's almost an automatic hit. I am in hard cover, though, to him. Um, anyway, so I think that, uh, I got these two units left, uh, one in ambush, uh... Let me think, I might, he still has a Stug coming in. Yeah, let me think what I want to do with my two units in ambush. I'm going to try to get this tank out of ambush, so I'm going to pour up. He can do something else. And he will not do anything else, he'll just stay in ambush. So, this guy will stay in ambush, and I believe that's it. So, you got your reserves, and... That's it, so go on. All right, turn two, first die. Who's going to get it? Who goes first, Barkman or Poole? Let me see it. Ah, it's Barkman. All right. So, you were saying you had heavy cover there. I think you ought to throw a laser on it. Uh, I don't have heavy cover? Okay. Uh, well, it's... Uh, Oh yeah, okay. It's not 50%. Alright, that's fine. So go ahead. Soft cover. So soft cover. I use my one time thing to add three, right? You sure you're gonna use that? Oh yeah. Okay. Um so it's normal range. So anything but so it was, Hold on. Uh, I'm going to use one of my stratagems. I'm going to use my quick reflexes and recce out of here. Whoosh. So does that mean I still use my, my 
my special rule? Uh, Since I didn't even roll the die? Or, well, I guess I have to say beforehand. Yeah, I would say no. You can still use it next time. I won't be that much of a dick about it. Yeah. <laughs> Although, technically, I don't, I'm not sure the rules. Let's roll for it. But I would say that you don't use it because you never fired. Now, in a recce, does it say you fire and miss, or does it say you just don't take the shot? It just uh, says you don't take the shot. Then you never used it. So. Okay. Okay. So, uh, next die. And pull one out for pull, too, because i got to put him down. That's where it would go good. That's what... Remember we were wondering how you would ever use that rule that Barkman has? Where if he's down? Yeah. You recce out. He's down. Then you can use it, and he can go again. Except he doesn't have a recce. He does. He has quick reflexes. Really? Yeah. He has quick reflexes and exceptional leadership. Oh, I'm sorry. He'd use quick reflexes and uh, push through. If you use both of those together, you could wreck you out of the way. And use push through and advance again. Anyway, pool, uh, you gave me one of yours. I need one for a pool to put him down. So pool will go down. He tried his shot, so he's used up his uh, quick reflexes, so he can't use that again. Next die is Americans. I've advanced my regular squad up, and we're going to fire onto the truck. Yay. So just soft cover. Uh, so threes, because point blank soft cover. Mm. Do you think you'll be able to get it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I got one six. All right, four up. And he's dead. So D6 to the guys inside. So four. They are inexperienced, so I need three ups. So two guys dead, and they take two more pins. Okay, and so they get out. Pins, and I get out D6. Uh, yeah, and then go down. Actually, I think you can just get out six, just like you were getting out. I seem to remember at the tournament finding out it was D6 out. So Andre was right. It is D6 when you get out of a destroyed vehicle, so he wound up uh, with his Kriegsman right there, losing two men in the explosion, and he uses five pins. So next day. Come on, Americans. Actually, I don't care. Okay. I'll take it. I'm going to place this tank into ambush. Woohoo! Cover that road. Oh, and German, German die. So advanced, he's Panzer IV, Panzer IV advanced up, and I'm going to fire on pool. So hard cover. Probably not long range. Yeah, it's long range. Because you got to go to the gun itself, not just the end of the barrel. Well, I was up, it was 36 feet. Yeah, the breach. Okay, so moved, long range, so sevens. Oh no! <laughs> not the sixes. <laughs> no drama. Oh, oh a miracle shot on pool. Yes. And I can't rookie out. I already did that, so. Okay. All right, um, so. Uh, damage yeah. table. Yeah, I'm only in. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good shot. No, no, that's uh, penetration, isn't it? <laughs> no. That's the penetrating oh. roll. Yes. So it didn't do anything. So I'm armor. I'm just, nine. You're so uh, six. And you already even six. take a pin. I'll take a pin, yeah. Yeah, you take a pin. I do take a pin. So, really? Oh man! Really? After all that, you get the two uh, sixes and you roll a one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Next day. Uh, Germans again. Um, do either of them have a wreck? Nope. No recce. Oh, shoot for the open top. Okay, so his wasp advanced up and he's firing indirect into the half track. And he misses. So, that. Next die. Americans. So, this Sherman advanced. And I'm going to fire on that Panzer IV. 
They do have tank fear. But if I'm firing at the Panzer IV with the tank fear, I don't so have to pass to, it. Well, hold on. Huh. Did you have to, uh, when you uh, moved out, you had to... Uh, moved out of what? You did a, uh, a move, right? Oh, yeah. So this, you had to pass to... So I guess I don't pass. So I'd have to sit here and shoot, I mean, you mean. I couldn't just move. Well, so you failed your order, right? Well... You gave a, a move, or an advance order, and you failed. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, and so you don't move, but you, in advance, well, you can still shoot. I'll change my my order to fire instead of advance. How about that? Well, no, because you got to give the uh, order before you roll. But yeah. it's the same difference. You're still sitting there firing. I'll just change my order. Since you changed how many different times you brought your vehicles on. I only changed five times. Then I'm going to change this <laughs> one. <laughs> I only changed my mind five times. Okay, so I get four more after this. <laughs> okay, then I'll just sit and shoot then. Uh, and I'll fire my bow machine gun at the uh, uh, Kriegsmarine. And I'll fire my main gun at you there. The only reason I wanted to move is because I think if I stay here, then you're going to get heavy cover, which you will. That's why I wanted to move up there, because then I would have been... Okay. It, you would have only gotten soft cover, but... Okay, so, uh... Damn, is that long range? 72 inch? It's, we're playing kind of a long range game here. Um... So I need 36. I think you're in it. To the breach. No. Uh, can I hit the front of it? Well... Oh, yeah, If I got we go it. through the building... Well, uh, I think I got it. Okay, so it's not long range, but it is hard cover, so fives. So needing a five... Nope. And I will fire my machine gun at the Kriegsmarine, so long range, so hard cover. Down. Oh, sevens? So nothing. Okay. And. German die? I'm not used to being gray. Gray, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't happen a lot. You don't play Germans very often. Okay. Um, Rolling to bring in the. What do you bring it in? Half track. The half track? With. Uh, Two groups of dudes. Okay. So I'm needing a uh, nine. Oh, you're good. Insane heroism. Does that mean I get to double my move? They get, yeah, they get to... Uh, <laughs> they're very confident coming in right now. Okay, so coming in... So you're staying out of line of sight of my ambush, Sherman yes. in ambush. All right. And running the half track on to right there. Cool. So that's got two squads of veterans in it. Yep. And they have two Panzerfaust, which are nasty, and a machine gun. So next die. Americans. This veteran squad is advanced to the rear, just behind this wall, and we're going to fire on to the half track. So all I'm trying to do here is put a pin on. So long range, uh, soft cover. And we do hit them, so pin on the half track. Next die is Americans again. Oh, now, oh, man. Damn it. I should have backed my half track up, fired with a heavy machine gun on the <laughs> damn thing, but now I can't because these guys are in the way. Um, all right. I will just fire my heavy machine gun from this half track into the Kriegsmarine. And so that's uh, long range, hard cover. I need five. Down. Down. Damn. Sevens. And that's not going to do it. Americans again. What do you have? Oh, you, you just have the Stug left, and that's it, right? Uh, and the two guys two in the... Sets of, guys inside. of course, they can't, because they ran, so they can't get out. So your Stug is the only thing left. I have that Sherman's on ambush, covering the, down the road, and I have a squad of veterans and another half-track. So let me think what I want to do here. My 105 half track is moved back, and I'm going to fire an indirect shot onto the Kriegsmarine. Miss. Ooh. And German died. So he rallied the second squad in the half track, and they're good. So another die. So the last thing you have to do, that's your last die, right? Yeah, and there's your last So die. you got to bring the Stug in. Stugie. Yeah, pass an order first. If you bring him in and then try to pass, you won't make it. 
he's good. We'll see where the Stug comes in. The Stug has come in over here on my left flank, his right, and he's got nothing. Can't see anything. So the last thing I have is this squad of uh, veterans. And it's tempting to go around the corner and fire on those guys, but I'm gonna need sevens and... Yeah, forget it. We'll just sit tight where we are right there. So that's it for uh, turn two. Collect them up. Put <laughs> them down to three. Okay, I got three do-overs. I'm almost caught up with Andre's five. So this guy was an ambush. Nothing happened. I'm gonna try to on a four up. He's gonna get to do something. He gets it. Okay, so Rowdy here, tank is gonna advance, and I'm gonna fire on that Panzer IV. He's got hard cover, uh, not long range, and no movement penalty from the gyro stabilizers. So needing a five. Come on, dude. Nope. All right, now we will start turn three. So top of three, he decided to leave his uh, cruiser main down. So D3 uh, pins, you can take off. Let's remove. Yeehaw, one pin. Not. So you're down to four. Four pin ambush. Okay. First dive, turn three, belongs to. Lafayette Pool. Well, I was gonna do Cool's uh, rapid fire and I could fire twice. But I would need sixes because I'm long range. And hard cover. So I decided I'm going to advance this guy up and fire. And he's a vet, so all I need is a uh, four for the soft cover. <laughs> okay. I need my black dice, man. Uh oh, this always happens in tank wars. It's uh... me again. Um, you and got my a bunch of units gun. that shoot one shot and nothing ever gets hit. Yeah. Um, damn, okay. Well, Poole's got two shots. So, yeah. uh, now I'm not going to be able to fire because I'm within one inch. So, he's going to have to do something. Uh, let me think about my next die. <laughs> my half track is advanced and we're going to fire onto uh, the German half track. Needing fives, soft cover moved. Ooh. Wow. And plus one pen, so uh, uh, he's a seven, so I need sixes. And no sixes, so just a pin on everyone. And that's it, unfortunately. So next die. German. Stug is ran up to the edge of the wood. Next die, Germans. Alright, half track is going to attempt to pass an order to do something. He's good. He had two pins, so he's down to one. And what is he doing exactly? track up to the building and take all of his pins with him hmm, okay so that's got two squads in it yep. uh, veteran grenadiers with Panzerfaust yep. very brutal so next die <clears throat> good for clearing that center out Americans all right this time I'm gonna try to do this again with the advance order Okay. So <laughs> I need to I need to pass this, <laughs> and I do. Oh no, it's minus one. Yeah, I fail. God damn it! It's the second time. Stupid tiger fear. <laughs> so tiger he'll go down. Fear is good. Next. Next die. The Americans again, huh? Yep. Hmm. So I'm going to assault the Kriegsmarine with my regular infantry. Uh, linear obstacle or stay simultaneous. So you go ahead and go first with your... Uh, these are rifles? So these are the rifles. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, two well, SMGs. these are the two that need to uh, need to hit. Got one. So you can reroll one. So you've got two. 
And I need... Now all you have to do is whiff. All I need to do is get three threes. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I've wiped out the Kriegsmarine. And D6 consolidation. Shit, two inch. Ah, I needed more than that. More than two inch consolidation. After the consolidation, that's what I look like now. So I got some firepower looking down on me. Next die, Americans again. Alright, uh, my 105 half track advanced, and I'm going to take a shot on the uh, his his uh, artillery, self-propelled artillery. So, uh, needing a six on indirect. No. Did not happen. So, next die. Germans trying to pass an order with the squad in the truck. Good. I lose all my pins. I think that means you lose the pins for everyone in the vehicle. No. <laughs> he rallies them. Come on, get your asses going. Here we go. Nothing like two insane heroism uh, rolls and... You can't use them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've so lost a pin. They're getting out. So, six inches. Hands are Faust in front. Hands are Faust, go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, moved, long range, so needing fives. Like you don't have that uh, other thing, cheap charge anymore. Yeah. You got one, okay. Right. So it's a six up. That's a penetrate. Needing a four up. No. <laughs> Just stunned. So he takes two pins. And I think he goes down, which doesn't matter, he already activated. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two out yeah. and replace them with two guys without Panzerfaust. Here we go. Next die. Oh, man, that was lucky for me, man. That would have been I needed bad. that. Yeah. I needed it. You needed it, and I needed you to miss. That's twice I've just uh, bounced them. So American die. What do I have? I got two uh, veteran squads. I still got cool. This idiot can't pass an order. And I got that squad. Let me think about what I want to do. All right. First. So I'm going to fire pool. I can squeak one uh, through between the building and the tank onto that Panzer IV. I need to pass an order, though. I do have a strict discipline skill, which lets me lose all my pins. But. I mean, it's turn three. I've already rolled ten or more twice on that guy. <laughs> <sighs> I hate to use it up on one pin on a veteran. So I'm going to just pass my order. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cool, this is uh, ridiculous. Pool only works for me. Ah, this is so stupid. He knows his allegiance. Yeah, that was. I should have used the uh, strict discipline. Well, you still would have had... Uh, tiger fear, though. Not if I'm shooting out the vehicle oh, with the tiger that's fear. That's right. That's right. So next die is okay, the Germans. So advance, and I think you've only got 25% uh, on the cover there. Advancing. Who are you shooting at? Front one. Okay. So it just moved. It just moved. Okay. Uh, just moved. Soft cover. Soft. Yeah. Okay. So just one shot. Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, you're right about the tanks, man. You got one dice on this big gun if you don't roll it. Yeah. And my machine gun. Machine gun on these guys. All right. So, so hardcover moved. Sixes. You get six shots. I'm you're, Germans. You're Germans. You get an extra shot. I'm not used to this. Uh, one one hit. hit. So a pin and uh, they're regular. So just a pin. Just a pin. Next die is Germans, Germans again. again. Andre has ran the wasp up the side of the board there. And the bold move. Americans. My half track advanced. And I'm going to fire into the wasp. So move long range. Eating fives. 
Come on. All right, you know what? Screw these green dice. <laughs> I'm the Americans, but you know what? I'm using my black dice. <laughs> these things are much better. The uh, Next die. The Nazi uh, Americans. I usually don't like to use them because they're SS die, but I roll a lot of sixes with those. So... Uh, Americans. What do I even have left? I have uh, two squads of infantry. I think that's it. The squads of vets is going to... They advanced over to here. And we're going to fire on that squad of grenadiers. So the uh, BARs are not long range, but it's hardcover. So it bites. One hit. I'm not sure I was going to use this black dice, wasn't I? After this, uh, four dice... Uh, for sixes for the rifles. Yeah, see? This green dice suck. So one hit, and you're a vet. Nothing but a pin. Next die. Man, Americans again. What do you have left? All you have left is uh, Barkman, right? I got everything left. Oh you, got, oh, you got another squad in here. Yeah. So you got Barkman and that squad. Yep. This squad of vets has advanced over to here. I can get four of them in a line with line of sight on that uh, Grenadier squad. And it is long range, but they are in the open. So I got two BARs in there and two rifles. So going to the black dice. Um, so what do I need? Fours? This long range? So that's three hits and fives. Uh, six, so one dead, and another pin. Dead? Yeah. I brought regular infantry? No, they're veterans. I rolled the six. Oh, I thought you rolled the three. Oh, I did, but I rolled the six, too. Oh, so. okay. So, one dead? One dead. I'm going to take a rifleman out, and uh, that's it for me. So, you I only have... you You got uh, Barkman and the uh, squad inside the half-track. Okay, so he ran the uh, passy order, ran that squad in the building, and now Barkman has ran up, and he's got a rule where uh, he can run and shoot, which is a decisive advance. Fire after a run. So, so just move. So uh, four up. <laughs> okay. Oh man, we need to get some rerolls going here. Man. Okay. And that's it for turn three. Okay. Turn four, first die. See what happens. Uh. Americans. I do have a two dice advantage on Andre right now for taking out the transport and the inexperience. All right, well, I guess I, I have no choice. Uh, I got to take the shot. I got a chance to take out Barkman. I'm going to do it. So I need a three. No, well, that's not entirely true. All right. Two pins? How did I get two pins? When I penetrated you. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, measure me off to uh, pool here. Am I within 12 of him? Because he's my commander. Yeah, you got 12 there. No so I get a plus one from him. So I actually got one pin, which I haven't passed in order yet. You got one pin or two pins? I got two, but I get okay. plus one for okay. Barkman. Right, right. For some reason, I cannot pass a pin with one uh, check with one pin, but I'll try it now. Nine, yeah, that's good. He's a vet. Yep, all my tanks are vets. There it is. But I barely passed it. Yep. But I still do have one, so I need a four up. So, come on, black dice, you can do this. <laughs> God. All right, man. These tanks can't shoot for shit. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'm not done yet. I still got a machine gun on here. Oh, okay. So my machine gun's going to fire onto your uh, vet or your guys in the open. So four ups. So three hits and eating the fives. So two dead and a pin. What are you down to there? Three? Oh, they already had two pins? Yeah, now you're back. Now you got three pins. Wow. Yeah. So, oh, next die. 
me. I'm gonna try to assault his uh, self-propelled howitzer with those infantry. So I do have to pass an order. So I got six, so I do. So, but then there's also tank terror, right? So that's yep. another order. So seven, so we pass. So I am within six, so he can't do any defensive shooting. So what we're gonna do is just uh, move everyone up and figure out what we need. So it turns out I did not even have to take a tank terror test at all because he's not fully enclosed. But it would have been at a minus three instead of uh, just a straight up. But anyway, um, so I did lose two guys to the assault against the uh, inexperienced. So I got eight left. So I need fours. I got four of them. So now what I do is I add a D6 to that. So I need to get, uh, what, a five? Yeah. I need a five. Oh, Ooh, a six. So that is a penetrating hit. And I believe, let me check this. So since he is open topped, um, any damage at all scored is automatically destroyed. So uh, soft skin or open topped. Automatically destroyed by damage, and I did damage him because I rolled over his uh, his armor with uh, what ten? He's a nine, so there we go. Actually, uh, an eleven. I or no, yeah, you got ten. I had 10. four plus. Yeah, and I rolled six. Well, he was the hero of the infantry war. I don't see this as uh, a great unit in uh, yeah the tank battle. <laughs> well, especially when you drive that. But yeah, so he's dead. Um, so pull his die out and put it in my pile of dead German dice over here. So good job on that, boys. The uh, regular grunts took him down. And a tank assault. So that was exciting. And I get to consolidate two ah, inches. God. I need more than that. <laughs> Next die. Uh, Germans. So the German Panzer IV is going to take a shot at this pan uh, Sherman. And not a hit, soft cover. We are not rolling well on tanks tonight. Next die. Americans. My half track advanced this direction. We're going to fire the 50 cal into that building. So I'm needing sixes. Animus. And German Dagger. Yeah, so the Stug has advanced into the woods and he's going to take a shot at Pool. Need the five. Oh no! That's not good. Uh, you're good, yeah. You're a six, four, ten, so you penetrated. Penetration. Ooh, on, on fire. fire. Ooh. And it so, easily catches fire, right? Uh, the, no, the uh, M4A1s don't have that rule. These are the cast hold ones. So, shit. Okay, so I got to pass an order with uh, three pins. <laughs> because I had one. Damn, man, see if I would have got rid of that one last time, lose all pins, I would be, uh man. Uh, oh, he's dead. He killed Pool. Ouch. This dude killed Pool. Ah, that's well, not good. At least good. you're rolling fives and sixes with your black dice. Well, at least I didn't die because I didn't remove the <laughs> one pin last time. That would have been even worse. I'm fine with that. That's fine. Actually, I'm not fine with it, but it could have been worse if I died another way. Okay, do I have a whole machine gun? or? Uh, yeah, you have a machine gun on top there. Okay, let's uh, fire that on the uh, infantry there. All right, so six shots. Moved, uh, hard cover. So sixes. sixes. Yay. And no hits. All, All right. right. Oh man, he screwed up my plan. Uh, it's gonna go downhill from here rapidly, Travis. What I was gonna do, I was gonna fire into that building with pool. Two shots. <laughs> Need 2d6 uh, hits. Yeah. That would have been, uh, that would have ruined my plan. 
Okay, so it is now American die. All right, uh, the tank named Finn has moved up and he is going to fire onto the Panzer IV. Needing a five, uh, soft cover. No, it's just a four. I don't have moved. I'm a vet. So just a four up and um, for pool. Ooh, it's a hit. And a six against your nine. So I need a four up. Ah, oh, there's the six. So uh, 12. That's a double pen. Nice. Um, so I get to roll 2d6. And he's dead. Panzer IV knocked out. Um, revenge for Pool, sort of. Although I wish he was still alive. And there is the handiwork of the Sherman Finn. So next die, or is that it? No. There's still plenty left There's in there. There's tons dice. left, what am I saying? Plenty of dice left. American die. Okay, so that's it for tanks for me. So I got infantry and a howitzer. This infantry squad advanced behind the wall, and we're going to fire onto the SS, or I mean the uh, vet grenadiers in the building, eating fives, just for hard cover. So three hits, and you're in a building, so you're a plus one, so I need sixes. Got one, another six, nope. So one dead and a pin. Next die, Americans again. So I'm down, what, one die and you're down. Did you take no. Pool's dice out? No. He hadn't gone yet? Nah. So I even wasted his shots before he died, damn it. All right, so American die. So my howitzer haps track has advanced, and I'm gonna try to fire a smoke shell and land it. Uh, uh, can you measure that out? 30 inches. I have a minimum range, so I want to get as close as I can, so I can get it right about there. So here we go. Leading the six. No. So doesn't it go? six inches any way you want, right? So, yeah. So it's going to be ineffective, pretty much. So you can move it anywhere you want. So the smoke, uh, Andre can move it. He moved it uh, right there, where that big white circle is. That's a five-inch circle of smoke. So next die. Germans. Panzerfaust. Panzerfaust out of the window into the Sherman. Okay. So long range. Long range. And even fours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a shot, boys. Nice one. Yeah, good job. Uh, we'll just take these two out and replace them with two rifles. I gotta admit, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I've still got the machine gun. Yeah, you can split and an fire. Assault rifle. Okay. So we'll fire that at uh, these boys. Okay. So it's hard cover. Hard cover. So the assault rifle. So you get two with the assault rifle and, and five fire, with the machine gun. Five with the machine gun. Yeah. Where's the assault rifle? Um, you are not long range, so just uh, fives. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> those guys need to go back to the range. All right. Are you sure those are veterans? I'm positive. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that happening. So next day. Germans again. In the three. All right. Barkman is firing on the Sherman. And he finally got a hit. Super heavy. So you're a seven, so you only need a three up. So it's a penetrate. It's not a double though. Four up. Oh, oh he's dead. Poof. So he killed the Sherman. And you get another die. So I'm in I only got one tank left. And I have to get a tank onto the objective 
at the last turn in order to win. Wow. And with one tank, that's going to be tough. It's going to take some dice management, that's for sure. <laughs> but it could be done. So next die. Americans. Uh, this squad of vets is going to fire at the uh, the squad on the outside of the building. I think there's only three guys left in it. Yeah. They are in the smoke, so it counts as soft cover and dense terrain. But dense terrain means I can't see through it, but if they're in it, I can see them. So I can still shoot at them at minus one. It'll be minus two because of uh, my range. So I need fives. Oh. I have never look at all that seen a Yahtzee plus two. <laughs> Yahtzee plus two. That's on a uh, single roll. You may never see that again. That should count as like a hit. A that hit. should count as something. <laughs> you automatically win yeah, the game two, if you can roll four, seven dice and get six. all the same thing. Yeah, I had seven threes. That's a new record. Wow, we've been, and we've been <laughs> dicing for a ten few years. years. Yeah, more than ten. I don't think I've ever seen more than five of this. Yeah, that's a yeah. okay. Wow. You know what? It would have been even more awesome if they were all fives. That, <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been cool. Yeah. Then they would have been. <laughs> all right, next die. Next die. Germans. <laughs> German half track is advanced around the building and will fire on the squad of infantry. You got six shots. Sixes. One hit. hit. So One pin. A pin. All right. Which in this game is proved to be kind of decisive. <laughs> so next day, Americans. Is that the last one? No, I got the last one. I'm gonna rally my uh, three-man squad over here. And what do I even have? That? Oh, that half track over there. Okay. So my half track just ran up to here, and he's going to rally. rally in the smoke. <laughs> you failed. Failed my rally in the smoke. We're only rolling high on the uh, order test tonight. Man. <laughs> okay, so that's it for turn four. Here we are, top of turn five. Uh, let's see, uh, we're getting pretty even in the dice count. I lost, two, lost three. Of course, two of mine are tanks. Of course, two of his are tanks. <laughs> but he's still got two tanks, and I got one. And I need the tanks to win. Okay, so American die. So real quick, uh, we'll do the smoke. On a one, it goes away. I think that just stays there. Okay, so I have the first die. So I've moved my one tank left up, hiding behind that building. Um, I need him to help me uh, claim the objective. So if he dies, I pretty much have to concede. So top priority right now is making sure that uh, that tank lives. So next die. Is Germans. See Germans. German half track has gone on ambush. Next die is Americans. My uh, infantry squad has run up there. Next die is Americans again. My howitzer half track is gonna fire indirect shot on the Barkman, even the six. Can do this. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> I don't even know if I could hurt Parkman. Um, hold on, let me figure this out. Okay, so I'm hitting the top armor. Uh, the Panther is 10 on the front, but he's a, a medium tank everywhere else, which makes him a 9. I'm a plus 3 pen. Uh, plus 4 since I'm hitting the top, indirect. So a 5 up, I can do something. So my black die. I always get fives or sixes when I need them. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> so, nothing but a pin. Actually, it's D3 pins. Come on, now I need a six, two here. Yes, three pins on Barkman. That could be big. Next die. And I'm zeroed in on him. So, uh, German's got the next die. So Andre is going to try to pass an order with Barkman, needing a seven. So we're going to do a slow-mo die roll. Okay, so he does give himself a plus one, because he's the commander, so he did pass. He needs a seven, but he's got the plus one, so an eight, so he passes. Barely. Barely. 
barely, barely, I say unto you. But he does give himself a plus one, as well as everyone, every other tank around him, so. So what's he going to do? He's going to come up 15 inches. And block my path. So he's running, and he can run and fire. He can't yeah. see me, though. Yeah, but I can shoot through the building, right? <laughs> yeah, in reality, you probably... I can see you through that window. In reality, you <laughs> probably could shoot through the building. Why wouldn't you, but... Okay, so I guess I'll shoot your... Uh... Shooting the half-track, all right. So, just a four-up. And a miss. And... Machine gun? Machine gun on those dudes? Well, actually... He has a hole. He doesn't. That's not really there. It is there on the oh. model, but you do have a whole machine gun, so you uh, could fire on these guys. Uh, we'll just say no line of sight. So, what you get heavy cover? I would get heavy cover. So you need sixes. Because uh, uh, medium machine gun. Oh uh, yeah, medium MG. So two hits. And got one. It is a rifleman. Okay, okay. next Oof. die. That's gonna make it hard for me to get to the uh, objective. Well, you kind of ruined my plan. <laughs> I ruined your plan. Well, I was <laughs> gonna double time the stug over. Uh huh. Leave uh, him. Leave so Martin. when yeah, so when you came up, I'd get a shot. Then I could move up and take two more shots. Assuming I moved up before before the last die of the game. <laughs> and if you didn't, I would just wind up uh, blocking double me? blocking you. So okay, so uh, American die. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, try to pass an order with the that veteran infantry squad. That's a seven. We're good. And I'm gonna run into this building. Okay. Okay, next die. Germans. All right, three on the outside rallying. They're good. And pin free. Next die. Germans. So, yeah, you got the Stug and the squad inside that building left. So the infantry squad, the uh, grenadiers that were in the building have run out to there. Next die. Tucked in a little tighter. Okay. They gotta be able to see down here so when you pop out I can pop you. Pop out from where? Oh. And American die. So Americans uh my half track advance this way and we're gonna fire on the grenadiers in the building. Or in the under the porch there. So moved and long range. So fives. Got one. And needing a five again. Just a pin. Nothing but a pin. And another die. Americans again. Uh, and you have two left? Um, one left. One left. All right. So this half track is going to fire on the same squad. Uh, long range hardcover. So I'm needing sixes. And nothing. Oof. That was big. Next die. Ah, oh, I wanted you to get it. You still got that stew out there, huh? Yep. Um, okay. Still got the half track on and ambush. And the half too. track on ambush. I'm gonna fire on uh, that squad. Okay. With them. So the BARs are in range. Uh, they're within. So I need uh, threes for them. And then I need fours for the rifles, our long range. So that's six hits. Needing fives. Come on, I need some kills here. Give me two fives. Ooh, three. So I got three fives and one six. So three dead and a pin. Real? Yep. Pretty much, uh... That stops that move. Wow. Yeah, so you just got the two uh, machine gun team left. Yep. With two pins. With two pins. So the last die is yours. So the last die, Andre just ran. You can't run. You can't run out of the woods. 
And you can also attempt to take your uh, after attack off ambush as well. Yeah. So yeah, you can only advance out of the woods. Might as well do some shooting. Track the main gun. Uh, miss. Okay. Machine gun. Machine gun. Machine gun on the infantry needing. Uh, so you moved sixes. hard cover. Yeah, sixes because you're not within point blank. So you got one. Uh, nothing but a pin. Actually, hold on. I had a pin on me. I need to take an order test. Damn it. I always screw myself like this, man. Okay, we made it. <laughs> All right, so. Does that mean you've only got one pin? Oh, uh, yeah. Because I passed the order, so I'm back to one. Okay. So seeing if I can pull him off the ambush. All right. Yep. So you can fire the machine gun or move or do something else. I'll, uh, fire. Okay. So five. Six. Six. Sixes. Oh, uh, yeah, five. Three hits and fives because they're vets. Two. Two dead. Two dead. Two dead. Oh, man. Okay. Let's take two rifles out and give them another pin. Okay, so that's it, right? So going on turn six. And turn six, here we go. No, oh, Germans get the first die. It's odd because usually you get all the first die. I'm getting the first die a lot today, which is yeah. rare. So, question: If you drive past here, do I get? Do you get any cover if you're pushing that guy out of the way? Vice. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably I not. Honestly don't probably know. don't think so. <laughs> well, I mean, if I push him out of the way, I can't be behind him. So. First die is attempt to put that two-man squad into ambush. Oh, that's where I needed my insane yeah. heroism. It actually would have done some good. Yeah, at least it's not the old five-pin ambush from back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting these guys on ambush. I got six pins. <laughs> hey, I passed it, and I got five pins left. <laughs> uh, uh, next die. <laughs> Germans man. again. So he is uh, attempting to put that squad into ambush. No. Oh, they don't have any pins? No okay, pins. so they are in ambush. All right. Yeah, they... Uh, they cleaned them off last turn. All right, next day, Americans. Yep. All right. Um, oh boy. Okay, so my uh, tank fin advanced, kind of barged through that wreck, and we are right there. So firing on Barkman. That's a hit. Actually, I needed a two, but uh, I'm a six. Am I hitting your side armor here? Like it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, seven. I'm a seven. Actually, all you can hit is the turret from there. <laughs> uh, oh man, uh, that's only a glancing hit. I need a three to penetrate. Wow. All right. Uh, Two. So Stun. immobilized. Oh, that's actually good for you. But he goes down. He has to go down now too. Okay. But you have your <laughs> special <laughs> rule. Okay. Uh, okay. So. He takes two pins, so he has two, right? So he's got two more, and he's immo uh Wait a minute, you're immobilized. You can't do anything. You can only change it down to an advance. You can't advance. You can't change it down to a fire. Hmm. Well, with four pins... Plus you got four pins. Doesn't really, uh... Okay, so, uh, next die. So this... Guy's been doing pretty good. Uh, next die. It all comes down to the Stug right now. If the Stug can kill me, Andre wins. If he misses, I win. Well, what I was really hoping for was to bring the Stug up, and if the Stug choked, do a run reverse drive to give him another shot and take another shot. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's I right, thought I he had was going to get three more shots out of this, but... Uh, well, if you can get him within six of him, he can do two shots. Then Doesn't the rule say you only have to be... What is it? No, he uh, has to do a run. Oh, that's right, and you can't run as you're immobilized. Right. So that screwed you big time. Yeah. Good job, Sherman. All right, so did you draw so, your day? Or are you still drawing? Or? I don't know. I don't know if it matters. It's, I mean, it's basically I just draw the stud die, and I either hit you or I don't. Americans. American got the next die. Uh, my half track here is going to fire on those uh, last two guys, uh, machine gun team there, into the porch. Small team, long range, we're needing fives, and total whiff. Next day. Americans again. I still got my howitzer. Hmm. All right, howitzer time. Howitzer, indirect fire shot. Well, measure that out first. Is that 30 inches? We gotta go back a little bit to the gun, uh, right there. Yeah. You gotta go to the breech. Oh, okay. Not the barrel. So we're good. Barely. But I still need to roll six, which I seem to do a lot on these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Again. Okay, so it's a plus three. Uh, your armor nine. I'm a four on the top so uh five or six no but d3 pins come on give me a five or six two pins okay i'll take it two pins on the stoop next die oh, americans again um okay what the hell do i want to do here okay so i'm going to try to assault the tank with these uh veterans it's Desperation move, but I need to do it. So you're shooting uh, both guns, right? Oh, well, I need to pass an order first. Okay. I got two pins. So we do pass the order. So you get your defensive shooting. Can okay. You can shoot all your weapons, I believe. So. Yeah, but I need sevens. Why? Oh, yeah, you got two pins, and I'm a hard cover. Nothing there. And the main gun. Uh-oh. Nothing. Okay, so I make it in... Oh, no, no. I do have to take the morale test now. At minus three. I need a really low test here. Actually, minus five. You Four, five, two, six. Uh... Well, I have one. Because I passed an order. Okay. So, uh, I'm back to a nine. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So, I pass. Right? It's Isn't it uh, minus three? Minus three, yeah. Okay. So... So I'm actually at a seven. You just made it, didn't you? Exactly. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I need a, I need a miracle here. All I'm trying to do is put a pin on this I thing. I believe in miracles. So I got four attacks. So I need fours. I don't think I'm going to be able to do with that. So... Yeah, I can't do anything. Two, you roll a six, you're at eight. Yeah, I can't do anything. Yep, nothing. So, so back off. but I do stop you. Well, uh, no, because you, because you have to. Uh, I can't advance through you. I guess you could. I mean, why would you care, right? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not tank shotting you. It's not like I'm trying to uh, make you take a morale check. All right, so you're just gonna ignore me, and just drive right through me. All yeah. right. And these two pins are on the half track? No, they're on the no, tank. No, they're on the tank. Yeah, okay. So next oh. die. Oh, I took the half track. Or the, yeah, I took it out and I can't push it. Yep. So Germans, he's oh, got I two pins. Push. He's got to pass this. got to pass an order. This is for the game. Uh, he fails. He's a regular. He needs a nine. He, got, <laughs> <laughs> he fails his order. So he goes down. All right, good game. Oh, man. That was wild, man. Uh, so basically, what I had to do was get a armor v nine vehicle within three inches of the middle, which I barely am. I think Andre was being a little generous with me by letting me 
well, get there. Calling the game for a half inch was in a tournament. Uh, in a tournament, you yeah. would have lost, but for a friendly game, it wasn't. Uh, it yeah. was worth playing it out, and uh, rightly so, because you know it. Uh, I miss. Uh, I should have put the uh, big gun in uh, ambush. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because and we're still a little unclear on vehicle wrecks. Uh, Andre looked it up. It said impa um, a wrecked vehicle could be impassable. Yeah, they used the word might. Might so be impassable. I, it really looked like they were leaving it to uh, the, dis you know, like terrain, you know. Uh, it's something you should figure out before you start the game. Mm. Um, so it's one of those, um, we know how we usually play it. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's definitely a discretion rule for, uh, when you're playing. So that's something people really ought to talk about at tournaments if there's a bunch of armor on the table. Yeah, and our, our, uh, reasoning behind it was a Sherman could push another Sherman out of the way. Obviously you can't run through it, but if you're advancing, you could just get up, push it along and move it out of the way and just move past it I mean there might be some other rules that we could come up with like if the tank is two sizes bigger yeah like a light tank couldn't move a heavy, heavy tank. tank but if they're the same size maybe one size bigger you could push it out of the way so I think that's how we're gonna do that um, if anyone knows or can tell me where in the rule book uh, tells you, you can't move through uh, any type of uh, wrecked vehicle I'd like to know but for now we'll say that uh, he did so it was a close game. Uh, the howitzer, I'm going to have to say MVP for me is that howitzer. <laughs> you are? I don't know what it is with these howitzers in these vehicles, but this guy has been kicking ass. And then the wasp in my uh, tournament list was just just wiping out squads every every turn. I clearly don't know how to use them. Cause... Well, you don't need to know. You just need to roll sixes. <laughs> well. <laughs> you fire... <laughs> I was that was of, my mistake. I mean, when you wipe out an entire infantry squad every game with one shot, you're going to have a lot better chance of winning. So, yeah. But anyway, my howitzer kicked some ass. Uh, he won the game by making this guy pin out or uh, fail his order. Uh, pool, disappointment, didn't do anything. Uh, so, what about you, Andre? Do you have an MVP? I don't think so. No MVP. So no one stood out. Not even Barkman. He didn't really do much. No, I mean, um, everybody kind of whiffed when they, you know, um, I mean, the Stug took out Pool, but uh, then he whiffed at the end, so. Well, I would say if you had to pick an MVP, the Stug. Yeah. He killed Pool. That's, uh, there you go. That, that was good. Uh, but he's still alive, too, so that's something. Yeah. But it's not like I really had a unit that really did some outstanding work out here. You know, yeah, I killed two of your tanks, but... Uh, but you didn't get the third one. That's the one that counted. Yep. Cool. Well, anyway, so Americans won this uh, tank battle, barely. Uh, it could be even debated that maybe I didn't win, but in our minds, I won this one. <laughs> in, our, in our collective mind. <laughs> yeah. if there's a reason we I didn't win, and you think so, let me know. Anyway, uh, that, thanks for watching this, and we'll be back for the next time. Here's some uh, buffaloes that uh, Andre got a great deal on on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something Woo! wrong with them, though? No, it's brand new in the box. Brand new? Okay. So we can just throw these right into the uh, right into a game of bolt action, right? Well, except they say Flames of War, so the scale might uh, be slightly off. That's true, the 100, the 1 100 scale. Okay. <laughs> Oops. But it was a good deal. Two buffaloes for, and you got 22 bucks, right? Yeah. I mean, how can you beat that? Well, uh, well, the problem is it's not even the right scale, but it was a good thought. Andre's trying to come up with a, some kind of buffalo super list. Yeah, well, uh, it's worth <laughs> trying. It, uh, you can put, you can just hang so much firepower on those buffaloes. Yes, you can. But they're open top. They are open top. But uh, if you can just keep them uh, 
from getting pinned out, uh, they just lay down so much firepower. And they hold like... 24 guys. 24 guys. Yep. That's a shitload of guys. And I can cross rivers. And you can cross rivers. So when you do finally get a buffalo that's the right scale, we'll put a river on and you can cross it. Yeah, except uh, it's a little pain in the butt, so I probably uh, avoid that. <laughs> it is an option. <laughs> I mean, if P-S- PSS, we forgot tank fear. Uh, as Andre pointed out, there was probably a couple of times we could have used it. But the thing that really mattered when I came around here, I wasn't in line of sight of him. No, and I don't think you could see the Stug either. Well, Stug didn't cause tank fear. Oh, that's right. It was this Only okay. the Panzer IV and right. the Panther. So, but there was maybe a few things like when I shot this infantry at yeah, them that, that possibly was, that was not an issue it would have right. just been the howitzer so the, the howitzer, howitzer shot, uh, well let's just real quick just so all of this could happen here <laughs> he would have failed so like rewind here that would have not put two pins on and then he could have moved <laughs> so take your shot with your uh, stug onto my sherman needing a three because you moved but point blank so you hit, all right. So let's see. Uh, you need to. Uh, oh. Uh, and it would not have done. So I still won. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>